Hello again. Let us assume the following scenario. We have digitized the content of a learning unit. Our content delivery principles are digital. And our students can apply their individual content acquisition strategies. Is such a scenario compatible with the classical approach of teaching and learning where content delivery and content acquisition take place in class and additional tasks are class external and follow the first phase of content delivery? Surely it is not. Once your content is digital, it must be removed from the classroom or do you want to show your own videos in class or bore students with a mere repetition of a digital unit's content? I don't. But what do we now do inside the classroom, especially in a classroom that is now free from the content that is available in a digital format? Of course, we could get rid of the classroom altogether. In such a scenario, however, we have to take care that the additional material is digital too. And that all additional activities are fully automatic, unless you have the time to coach each student of your class individually. Such completely online scenarios, however, are only marginal to our curricular activities for several reasons. We believe that the classroom is the central location for social interaction. We also believe that today a good human teacher can be of enormous help to his students much more than digital scenarios of information exchange and we believe that well-organized in-class activities are beneficial to all facets of the learning process. But what exactly shall we now do in class? The answer is simple. Shift the activities again and practice in class. Well, and this is what it looks like. In fact, that was 2013 a time when we had to use the 20th century lecture hall architecture with its long and narrow rows, an architecture that heavily restricts interaction between more than just a handful of participants. So really, the logical consequence of digital content on campus is a shift learning activity scenario which at university level is referred to as inverted classroom. Today, our inverted classroom scenario has changed several aspects of teaching and learning. From my, the teacher's perspective, it has realized what you can call free your lecture. For example, my preparation for a unit is now basically an examination of my own digital material. Yes, I have to watch my own videos before each in-class session. And my teaching is no longer the old lecture style format but a permanent interaction with my students. And at the end of a lecture, well I shouldn't call it lecture anymore, I feel more satisfaction than ever before. I do not stand in front of a silent crowd but I communicate with several dozens of my students. I walk around, I help where possible, I discuss problems and from time to time I well, I still summarize our own findings for the whole class. This shift of teaching and learning activities has shown to be highly efficient. In first long-term studies, we have found that those students who attend our optional in-class meetings, yes, in-class attendance is optional at German universities. Well, we found that those who come yield better results than those who do not. So, in summary, the digitization of a learning unit not only enables students to apply their own rhythm and their individual learning strategies, but it also involves and, from my point of view, necessitates new teaching and learning concepts that superbly realize Alison King's prediction from 1993 from Sage on the Stage to guide on the side. And I can tell you, it's great being a guide on the side rather than a sage on stage. I hope 
that I could illustrate the great freedom that I have been experiencing as a teacher, an important benefit of the digitization of teaching and learning. Thanks for your attention.